You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Welcome to CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. As COVID-19 continues its death march across the country, some communities are really just now seeing outbreaks, while others have been fighting it for months. The death toll continues to rise as the dedicated caregivers in nursing homes continue the battle fighting for the residents' lives and in many situations, their own lives as well. This deadly virus has claimed way too many. CNAs are on the front lines of this war fighting every day to save those they care for. They are still often doing it with inadequate personal protective equipment, PPE, and other resources, including labor. Dorothy Pearl Davis, or Pearl, as she was known by everyone around her, was the first nursing home employee to die of COVID-19 in San Antonio, Texas. She was 60 years old. She loved her work and was a workaholic sometimes working two and three jobs at a time. She was the glue that held her family together. Pearl was always cooking and planning family gatherings. Not much scared Pearl. However, she called family and told them how scared she was because her job did not give her the proper equipment that she needed. She didn't have any gloves, any masks, any hand sanitizer, anything like that. And she would tell her family she was doing everything she could. She was constantly keeping her hands in her pocket, washing her hands over and over, and was just trying to do whatever she could to protect herself. And the day she got sick, she said someone had sneezed on her. And from that moment, she said literally hours later, she started feeling sick and it started going downhill from there. Pearl had always been a hard worker and never missed shifts until the end of March when she fell ill. Her fever spiked, breathing became difficult. Pearl could barely make it from her bedroom to the living room. She had contracted COVID-19 at her job caring for the residents at the nursing home, one of 29 staff members and 74 residents who tested positive for the virus. On March 28th, she was rushed to the hospital. Within just four days, she needed a ventilator to breathe. For the first couple of weeks, it seemed like Pearl might win the fight against COVID-19. Because visitors weren't allowed, family talked with her doctors and nurses each day by phone, relaying the updates to relatives and her many friends. But after more than a month in intensive care, just as Pearl's family began planning on how to bring her home once she recovered, her kidneys began failing. It looked like her other organs were shutting down too. Pearl's sister, and her son signed the paperwork to allow her into hospice care. They contacted her closest relatives and friends to tell them that this was their last chance to see her. Over Zoom video, more than 50 of them told her goodbye. After 43 days of fighting for her life in a San Antonio hospital, Dorothy Pearl Davis, a beloved mother grandmother and employee at Southeast Nursing and Rehab Center lost the battle with COVID-19. Pearl died in her hospital bed on Mother's Day at 9.41 a.m. Because of fears of the contagion, Pearl's only living son, six remaining siblings, nine grandchildren and two great-grandchildren weren't able to be at her side to say goodbye. Her son and her siblings raised money to pay for her funeral. Pearl Davis, you are a beautiful soul 
who took such good care of your family and the family members of so many in the San Antonio community. Your years of caring, dedication, and compassion are so appreciated, and you, Pearl, will not be forgotten. You made the ultimate sacrifice. Everyone, please join me in honoring the beautiful life of Dorothy Pearl Davis, CNA hero.